24 hours ago, four brave souls were locked up in our Hollywood and Highland crematoriums. Deprived of sleep, the two teams were each given a huge pile of ridiculous information to study. Trapped in a Hollywood storefront all night, they had to resist the urge to sleep and cram as many facts as possible into their exhausted brains. No sleep, no privacy, no mercy. I haven't even touched the caffeine yet. God forbid I do. Now we're going to find out what they've learned. There's ten grand on the line. It's time to... Cram. Hello, I'm Graham Elwood, and welcome to Cram, the only show where the contestants are actually given all the answers ahead of time and a full day and night to cram it into their tired little brains. Earlier, our exhausted crammers were delivered via Saturn Ion from their overnight study sessions in a Hollywood storefront. They're just arriving now. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Crammers. <laughs> yeah, right on. Thanks for being on the show, you guys. We have Emily and Misha. Now, um, I understand, what were you, you guys were doing something to amuse yourselves in the middle of the night last night? <laughs> that would be her. Yes, I, I faked a pregnancy. <laughs> oh, how does that go? I, well, I just, I have this protruding <laughs> belly here. I kind of... Well, do you want me to fake an at... ultrasound? <laughs> All right, uh, now, uh, Stephanie and Jason, um, did any sort of wild things happen to you last night? It was a pretty crazy night. There were a lot of people out there. Everybody was out having a great time in Hollywood. And there were some people banging on the window going, hey, why don't you have sex? <laughs> As if that was the first thing that came to our mind. But we're on just, well, you know, some people Actually, might that's that not way. bad. Yeah. That's <laughs> sweeps week. Somebody write that down. OK, guys, we'd love to have you demonstrate some of those other things. But right now, we're going to have to have you get on the giant hamster wheel. So go join the lovely Icy. Get on your wheels. All oh, the teams are crossing about, Hulk. Scurrying around. Thank you very much, I see. All right, now, just for making it through the night, we're going to start each team off with 100 points. There you go. But let's see if you can hold on to them through our first round, which is called The Rant. Last night, we gave our crammers a bunch of articles to study, including from TV Guide, they're solid as a rock, an article about Latin singing sensation Shakira from the classic Wilderness Survival, a chapter on how to forage for food in the cold, hard wilderness. And from the National Examiner, we have winner of the water wars about a man who invented the world's most powerful water gun. Now, I hope you guys read them, because uh, in this round, each team's going to pick an article and rant on it for 40 seconds. Emily and Misha, you guys won the 3 a.m. coin toss. Which article do you want to rant on? Water Wars. All right, here's how it works. We've secretly selected eight key words or phrases from that article. For every one of those you mention, you'll hear this, and you'll get 10 points. Here's the catch. You guys have to talk continuously. Anytime you stutter, stop, say, um, uh, or if our judges feel you've gone too far off topic, you'll hear this, and you'll lose five points. All right, who's going first? I am. All right, Emily, you're going to rant for the first 20 seconds. Misha, you're going to pick it up for the remaining 20 seconds. Here are the key words for the folks at home. Ready? Go. Lonnie Johnson is a inventor of the ultimate water pistol called the Super Soaker. He grew up in Mobile, Alabama. He graduated from uh, Tuskegee, Arizona. He, in 1982, he invented a switch. In 1992, Hasbro decided to create his Super Soaker, which after that sold over 150 units at 50 bucks a pop, which with its amazing graphic design, dazzling colors, and futuristic design, it became the distinguished water soaker gun, according to the... Out of time. Stop your ranting, but the wheel's got to keep spinning both of your teams. All right. You guys got three of the key words and phrases, and you were only buzzed twice, which is not bad at all, which brings your score to 120 points. Let's see how that holds up. All right. Stephanie and Jason, which of the remaining two articles do you guys want to rant on? We're going to do Shakira. Okay, all right. Which one of you is going to rant first? I am. Let okay. Stephanie go. Remember, you get 10 points for each keyword or phrase from the article. There they are for the folks at home, and you're going to lose five points for every buzz. Ready? Go! Shakira was born in Chile. She is 25 years old. She is engaged to Antonio de la Roya. He is the son of the Argentinian president. And she has a new CD called Laundry Service with a new hit single called Whenever, Whatever, Whenever, Whatever. And she uh, loves... Switch! Little... 
find out her husband, her fiance to be, was just telling us that she loves salt on everything she eats, be it mangoes or oranges or whatever she puts in that mouth. But it's not her mouth that's interesting, it's her belly. She's a professional belly dancer who just turns everybody on. She's big on VH1, MTV, VH1 Diva. She's going up on real soon. And she got a 2000 Grammy for best pop. Out of time. All right. You guys only got one of the key words and phrases. You could have mentioned maybe that, uh, I don't know, you know, Spanish. Um, but you did a nice job of continuously talking because you only got buzzed once, okay. which brings your score to 105 points. You trail by 15 points. You're going to have plenty of opportunity, though, to catch up when we return. But for now, both teams got to keep those giant hamster wheels spinning. Even as I speak, vital information is quickly leaking through our exhausted Crammer's brains. Stick around to hear the drips when Cram continues. Into the attack circle. Bling right. getting both balls. Tyrone Russell. Oh, oh, look at that look team at that. match. What a teamwork move by Daniel Kingman blocking his big gun partner, Bobby Rowe, with a ball, saving him from an early exit. That is what teamwork is all about. That set the tone for this game. Extreme Dodgeball on Game Show Central. to cram only one of these four tire teams is going to get a chance at ten thousand dollars stephanie and jason have 105 points emily and misha are ahead with 120 points you guys get first crack at earning some more points come on down here let's see what you're going to be doing now before we do this uh how did you guys meet we actually met down in Las Vegas bungee jumping. Oh, thrill seekers. Yeah, that well, we let's see what kind of thrillerific, yeah. cramified things you guys are going to be doing here. Two tests represented. Pick one. Let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. <laughs> it's a snail. They're so adorable. You guys, among your crematorium stuff last night was the book Animals That Live in Shells, which taught you about crustaceans and mollusks. <laughs> Did you study? Oh, that's a library book. We're playing some late charges. Uh, so, did you guys remember that book? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I remember it all. Here we it? have an invertebrate nude beach. Here we have seven different types of mollusks, and it turns out they're over here skinny dipping without their shells. We've got oyster, limpet, whelk, among others. You'll also notice that over here we have an aquarium full of shells. Each of those shells belongs to one of those naked mollusks. Your job is to alternate grabbing a shell from the tank and taking it to its matching nude invertebrate and shoving it back in its rightful home. Once you place a shell, you must run back here, tag your partner, who must then grab another shell from the aquarium. Now, studies show, and we've done a lot of research on this program, that sleep-deprived people have a really hard time doing two things at once. <laughs> they just know what I'm about to say. So while you're handling slugs, you're also going to alternate answering questions from Cram's big dumb book of stupid lists that you studied last night. Speaking of slimy lowlifes, I'm going to ask you about the mafia. I'll give you a mob word. You tell me what it means. Do you guys remember that list? Sure yes, do. We do. Oh, yes. They're excited. Each correct answer worth 10 points. Each correct shell worth 20. Who's going first? I am. Emily is going first. 45 seconds on the clock. Ready? Go! Emily, whack! Murder. That's correct. Misha, Guma. Uh, mafia's mistress. That's correct. Emily, Jamuk. Uh, idiot. That's correct. Misha, Ubats. Crazy. That's correct. Emily, Stugats. Testicles. That's correct. Misha, Mo Green Special. Shoot it in the eye. That is correct. Emily, come heavy. Bring a gun. That's correct. Misha, rat. Someone who snitches on That's you. That's correct. Emily, pinched. Uh, um, and I get ca caught by the cops. That's correct. Misha, Skifosa. I'm going to have to say. Need an answer. Uh, an answer. Peasant. <laughs> Wrong, ugly woman. Out of time. Wow. You guys did pretty good with the questions. You got nine of the 10 point questions correct, taking your score to 210 points. Come on over here, let's see how many of the 20 point shells you got. Oh, you thought that was a delicious scallop. Oh. That is a scallop, there you go, that's for 20 points. You thought that was a conch? That is a conch for 20 points. Didn't get to the cockle clam, unfortunately. You guys thought that was a muscle. That is a muscle for 20 points. You thought that was our good friend, Welk? That is correct for 20 points. Didn't get to the incredible Mr. Limpet. Oyster, is that right? 
That is an oyster, man. You guys just added 100 points to your score. You're yes. up to 310 points. Hope you have you hang out here and have some delicious seafood, but you're gonna have to get back on your hamster wheels. Head on up there, guys. All right, Stephanie and Jason, come on down. Let's see what you guys are come going on. to be doing. <laughs> All right, thank you, I see. Before we do this, yeah. if you guys do happen to win the 10 grand, what are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna go visit my friend in China. I'm probably gonna get a new car. A new car, wow, $5,000 car. That ought to be exciting. All right, let's see what you guys are going to be doing. Look at that. It's beer among your crematory materials. Last night was this book, Beer for Dummies, detailing the different types as well as their subtle characteristics. We also gave you some bottles of beer to taste. Did you guys study or were you just getting hammered? A little of both. A little bit of both. All right, you're about to enter the Cram Simulated Micro Brewery. Do me a favor, stand on the Cram Square. All right, over here we have Cram's Bar with seven glasses of ale. Each different type of glass represents different types of ale. Over there we have a table with signs labeled with the name of the seven ales. There's Porter, Bitter, and Stout, among others. Your job is to alternate running out with this spit pitcher. Uh, grabbing a glass of ale and then placing it next to the correct label. Since we don't want you guys walking drunk in your hamster wheels, you're gonna can't drink the beer, just taste it, spit it back. Make sure you use that. Once you place a glass of ale, you must run back here, hand the spit pitcher to your partner, who must then grab the next glass of beer. Of course, nothing on this show is that simple. You're gonna be doing two things at once. So while you're tasting beer, you're gonna alternate answering questions from Cram's big dumb book of stupid list that you studied last night. Since we're hanging in a bar, I'll name the TV hangout. You tell me the show. Do you remember that list? Fair enough. Yes. Fair. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Fair play is always adequate. <laughs> Each correct answer is gonna be worth 10 points. Each correct ale is worth 20. Who's answering the first question? I'll go first. Jason is going first. He's got the spit bucket. Okay. 45 seconds on the clock. Ready? Yes. Go, Jason, Most Tavern. Most Tavern Simpsons. That's correct. Stephanie, Central Perk. Uh, friends. That's correct. Uh, Jason, Regal Beagle. Uh, Three's Company. That's correct. Stephanie, Cafe Nervosa. Uh, um, Fraser. That's correct. Uh, Jason, Monks. Uh, Seinfeld. That's correct. Stephanie, Mel's Diner. Um, Alice. That is correct. Jason, Arnold's. Arnold's is, uh... Oh, is... shit. Um, Need an answer. Uh, happy days. Wrong. Uh, Stephanie, the Peach Pit. Is uh, Beverly Hills 90210. That's correct. Jason, Bada Bing. Bada Bing is Sopranos. That's correct. Stephanie, Shooters. Is uh, Metal's Place. That's correct. Jason, 10 Forward Bar. 10 Forward Bar is Star Trek Next Generation. That's correct. Out of time. Drop that beer. Come on, Rummy. No, I'm just <laughs> you guys got 10. Of the questions right, that's very good, bringing your score up to 205 points. Coming over here, stand right there for me at the end of the bizarre, and we're gonna see how many of the 20 point, 20 point bar, uh, excuse me, beers that you got. I've been drinking this all day. <laughs> Man, am I geezed, all right. You guys thought this was wheat? That is wheat for 20 points. You thought that was stout? That was stout. Woo! You guys thought this was porter? That was yeah, Porter. Yeah, yeah. Nice job. You guys uh, do a lot of drinking. I'm going to Well, you guys got three of them bringing your score up to 265 points. It was up to me. I'd belly up to the bar and start doing some shots. But going to have to get back on the hamster wheels. Run on up there. So at the end of round two, Stephanie and Jason have 265 points to Emily and Mitch's 310 points. Well, it's time for round three. Both teams have pulled all-nighters, but one of them did it for no reason. We'll find out which one pays off when Cram comes back. But I can, I can tell you mm. from you, this is very... <laughs> it's copy machine toner. I want to buy an outfit or two and get that cash back too on the things that make a difference in my world. They got TVs for my shows, dog beds, they got those because I want what I want from all my favorite stores. <laughs> cash back so crazy. I love my big fat check, baby. Ooh, Rocket 10, Rocket 10, Rocket 10, got it with Rocket 10. Yeah, she did. Rocket 10, Rocket 10, Rocket 10. Rocket 10. energy and focus to give yourself a boost. 
and the advanced muscle recovery support to help get it back. Energize your workouts with Amino Energy. <laughs> hey there, everyone today is using emojis. It's a worldwide phenomenon, and now it's a game. Activity. Uh, running, sports, jumping, firemen, uh, fishing. Correct. Treatment. Uh, foot, foot massage, ne pedicure. Manicure. Pedicure, correct. TV show, you need one TV, more. TV show, uh, shoot. Orange is the new black. Correct, you guys are like $10,000. Emo Genius on Game Show Central. Stephanie and Jason have 265 points to Emily and Misha's 310. I want this thing settled now. Off the wheels, Crammers. Come on. I want to figure this bad couple out. Emily and Misha, you guys are in the lead, so you get to relax in Icy's comfortable cram chairs. Stephanie and Jason, you guys have some work to do to stay in the game. This is your last chance to catch up. Last night, you studied super silly riddles. Did you guys like it? Mm, no. <laughs> Very honest in her <laughs> sleep deprivedness. Uh, which one of you wants to answer the questions? I am. All right, do me a favor, hop in the sidecar. Jason, get yourself on the bicycle for me, yeah. my friend. All right, all you have to do is keep the green light on. As long as the light is green, Stephanie can answer the questions. To keep the light on, Jason, you must pedal at least 10 miles an hour. For every correct answer Stephanie gives, you guys get 30 points. For every incorrect answer, speed increases by three miles an hour. Okay, you guys need two to stay in the game. 10 grand on the line, 45 seconds on the clock. Ready, go. What did the mitten say to the thumb? I love you. That's correct. What ice cream drinks weren't found on the Titanic? A float. That's correct. How did the escargot cross the ocean? Um, by snail boat. That's correct. What does a doctor do with a sick Zeppelin? Uh, put a helium in it. Helium it. That's correct. Why couldn't Tarzan call Jane? Um, cause she was on the vine. Wrong, her vine was busy. Why couldn't the instant coffee sue the teapot? Um, because it didn't have the grounds. That is it. correct. What famous fish wears a red, white, and blue hat? Uncle Salmon. That is correct. Who taught Superman to tell time? Um, Clock, Clock Kent. That is correct. What did the Papa Monster say to his son? Um, Pat. Wrong, Father Knows Beast. Another three miles an hour, 16 miles an hour. Out of time, man! You good. guys did all right, though. You only needed two, and you got seven, bringing you guys up to 475 points. That's very nice. Awesome. Come on off the bike. Let's see how well you guys are going to do. Cool. Misha, Emily, come on. Whoever's going to answer the questions, hop in the sidecar. There you go. All right. You guys know the rules. You need six to win. Ten grands on the line. 45 seconds on the clock. Ready? Go. What's worse than a giraffe with a sore throat? An uh, octopus with tennis elbow. That's correct. What's large, yellow, and lives in Scotland? Uh, Loch Ness Canary. That's correct. Why did the angel go to the hospital? Her heart failure. That's correct. What do you call pigs who drive trucks? Squeals on wheels. That's correct. What do you call a beach that keeps losing sand? A shore loser. That's correct. Why did the boulder's wife divorce him? Because she, he was driving her up the wall? Wrong, because he took her for granted three miles an hour. What trains carry bubble gum? Junior train. That's correct. You guys just won a thousand bucks and a chance at ten thousand dollars. More importantly, you've earned yourselves a little rest, which I'm sure you need, my friend. So why don't you guys hop on over there if you can make it, and go on over to our sleep zone where our resident sleep therapist, Miss Pickwick, will talk you in. Jason and Stephanie. Thank you very much for being on the show. We are going to give you $500 for staying up all night. That's not bad. I did sure beats uh, spending a night in prison with a transvestite named Stephen. Think about it. Over the commercial break, Miss Pickwick is going to read our crammer some warm and snuggly bedtime facts that they have never heard before. They better try and stay awake and concentrate because when we return, there will be a $10,000 quiz. Miss Pickwick, they're all yours. Singer Wayne Newton is a descendant of Pocahontas. Lack of sleep will kill you faster than starvation. A German scientific study proved that loud rock music induces homosexuality in rats. 
You're getting very sleepy. Human birth control pills work on gorillas. A groundhog is accurate in predicting the weather only 28% of the time. Fuel your potential and recover with quality you can count on. Premium protein powder to help you build and maintain muscle. Because when you get the best, you'll give yours. Build better with the world's best-selling whey protein powder. Priceline can save you up to 60% on top hotels. These are all great. Because now is an important time to save. And when you get a big deal, you feel like a big deal. When you're ready to travel, we're here to help you save. Get up to 60% off amazing hotels with Priceline. Priceline, every trip is a big deal. Welcome to America Says! All right! <laughs> it's all about guessing how America filled in the blanks. I also like peanut butter with blank. Hair? I don't know. <laughs> People get under pressure on this show and they say the craziest things. My specialty with the microwave. Dog food. Brazilian. <laughs> There's nothing I like better than a big steaming plate of hot Brazilian dog food. <laughs> America Says. On Game Show Central. Crocodile cannot stick its tongue out. In 1892, Italy raised the minimum age of marriage for girls to 12. You are more likely to be killed by a champagne cork than by a poisonous spider. Every 2.7 seconds, a Tupperware party begins somewhere in the world. Welcome back to Cram. In just a moment, an alarm will go off and a 60-second clock will start. The crammers will have to run over to this stump and get all four feet off the ground before I can start asking them questions. I will quiz them on the facts that Miss Pickwick has just read to them. They must get up to level five to win. For every question they get right, they get closer. For every question they get wrong, they fall back. If they can get all the way up to five within 60 seconds, they will win $10,000. The catch is, every time any one of their four feet or any part of their body touches the ground, I will stop reading and start the question again from the beginning. Sound like fun? Here we go. Get up, let's go, let's go, let's go! Clock's running, clock's running, kids, let's go! What, 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 what? What, what, what percentage of American women send themselves flowers on Valentine's Day? 15%. That's correct. How long does it take to hard boil an ostrich egg? Four hours. That's correct. Who is the first couple to be shown in bed together on primetime television? Fred and Wilma. That's correct. During which wars was a monkey hanged for being a French spy? The Napoleonic. That's correct. What is the slowest day of the week for barbershops? Thursday. Thursday. That is correct. Yeah. Get some rest, and you can snuggle up in a big old bed full of cash, man. Well, that's it for today. But the crammers for our next show are already loading into the Hollywood and Highland Cramatoriums. They look pretty fresh now. Wait till you see them tomorrow. For all of us here at Cram, I'm Graham Elwood saying if you snooze, you lose.